Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at Snow Leopard Power User Keyboard Shortcuts. So a few months back, I came up with this. It's a single sheet printable page of Power User Keyboard Shortcuts for Snow Leopard. You can download this from MacMost.com. Just look in the sidebar on the right and you'll find it or go to this URL. In the meantime, let's go ahead and look at some of the shortcuts on the sheet. So let's start with the finder. You can create a new finder window using Command N. Once you have a new finder window, you can do Command Shift N and it will create a new folder and select the title so you can name it. Now to get information on anything, a folder or a file in the finder, you do Command I. This brings up this information window here. But you could also do Option Command I and bring this up. Now it looks the same, but if you notice at the top, there's a smaller title there. This is actually an inspector, not a window. Let me show you the difference. If you bring up the window here, it's going to show you the information for this folder. And it will stay as an information window for that folder. If I want an information window for this, I have to bring that up separately. Now an inspector is different in that it's going to always change according to what you've got selected. So right now it's showing information for this because it's selected and if I select that it changes. So this will stay here and as I select different things in the finder this will change to reflect what I have selected. Now when we have a finder window we can make it jump to the applications folder with shift command A. You can also jump to say your computer level by shift command C. And there's all sorts of different functions like that. Um, you can also jump up to the enclosed closing folder. So say if we're looking at our documents folder, we can jump up with command and the up arrow. We can go up like that. We can also jump to a spotlight search with command F and it changes it all here so we can enter a search. If we wanted to actually search by name rather than by content, we do shift command F and it immediately opens it up and goes to file name rather than contents. There are also some handy keyboard shortcuts for use when editing text. They work in a lot of applications. I'm going to show you in text edit. So for instance, if we uh, wanted to go back and forth by letters, we of course use the arrow key. But did you know you can use command and right arrow to jump to the end of a line and left to go to the beginning of the line. Now if we wanted to jump to the end of a paragraph, you could basically use Option and Down and you can see it jumps into that paragraph, into that paragraph, beginning of the paragraph, etc. In addition to that, you can also use Command up and down to go to the end of the document, the beginning of the document and to go uh, through words you can use Option and right arrow and left arrow and your cursor will jump by word. And you can use this all in conjunction with the shift key to select things. So for instance, shift and option will select by word. Shift and option will down and up will do it by paragraph. Now a lot of applications like TextEdit here use some universal keyboard commands. For instance, command and comma will bring up preferences window for a lot of applications. In addition, of course, you can use command and W to close a window. Uh, if you want to bring up a fonts panel, usually command T. And if you want to bring up a colors panel, you can do that with command shift C in a lot of applications. That brings up this colors panel here. Also shift command and the question mark will activate the help menu. And also a lot of applications used shift command and semicolon to bring up so that just touches on the surface of what's covered here. For instance, there's a section on uh, powering up, powering down, sleep, uh, screen capture, uh, using expose and spaces, and also switching applications, uh, and also things like different startup keys, like how to boot into safe mode, uh, reset PRAM, uh, single user boot, things like that. So go ahead and download this. It's completely free. Uh, get it from MacMost.com. Hope you found it useful. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.